Hi everyone, we thought we'd go live tonight and say a little hello. It's our anniversary tomorrow and uh, so we thought we'd do a little live feed today and talk anniversary. Uh, Melissa's going to be doing a little moderating. Try not to cover the camera again. <laughs> and a little chatting at the same yep. time. Uh, so what has it been for us now? Well, for wedding anniversary? Well, wedding anniversary is what, 16 years? 16 years, yeah. I think 16 years, yeah. It, it went by really fast. It, hey guys, hi, uh, Goldie hi. and Nora. See you guys as you're logging on there. We'll try and say hello. Um, so a lot of people keep asking, and I'll try and get Melissa a little bit more centered in there too. Yeah, maybe I can, there we can go. move can on. Move we're, our phone was dead, so we're using the iPad. So. That's right. We're, we're If doing we're this. looking down at the corner, it's because the comments are coming up right at the very bottom of the screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so 16 years that we've been married and 23 years together. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's gone by really fast. Um, so do you want to tell a story about how we met? Well, <laughs> It makes me sound a little crazy. <laughs> my dad, who some of you know, Dave, uh, he was dating a lady who had a daughter named Helena. This is going to be one of those stories where there's way too many characters involved and it gets confusing. Yeah, they'll follow along. She went yeah, to school with Alexander. Yeah, she did. And uh, she ended up bringing a whole bunch of friends home uh, with her to our house. And I saw Alexander and I said, hmm, that's the guy I'm going to marry. Yeah. <laughs> and how old were you at the time? Uh, 15, 14, yeah. 15. 15, and I was probably 17, turning yeah. 18 at the time. Yeah, you would have been. <laughs> I was older. Yeah. Um, he was the older man. I was the older man. <laughs> I'm just going to adjust this camera. You can keep we, talking. You can keep telling your story. You guys, so, so that we're keeping it real. Right now we have an olive oil bottle, a rolled up tea towel. Yeah, we're trying to, we're trying to prop up the camera here. I mean, <laughs> it's not going well. <laughs> Our tripod wouldn't have worked on this anyway. We're using the, the big, uh, iPod. What did I think of the haircut? Oh, she, no. Well, the Jason's haircut that I did. Oh, I, did the video of it. I, I didn't it even today. see that one yet. It's been a busy day. I, I, to, I just know, I saw as he was getting ready that he cut his hair as well. I gave myself a little trim on the sides. But no, I didn't rob the cradle. The cradle robbed me. So she's got to keep telling her story. Oh, well, that's the gist. Yeah. But you're going to, okay. <laughs> Fine, then I will. Okay, you okay. want me to tell? Or all right, all right. Telling? I'll keep telling it. I guess I said that's the man I'm going to marry. Alexander came over. I was kind of in a, you know, you're a teenager, and I was kind of in a period in my life where I was a grumpy teen, and my parents were getting divorced and all that. And Alexander... Which is why Dave's single. Yeah. So he was like, <laughs> how does he have a mother-in-law and a father-in-law? That means that they're married. And Dave was like, no, that means that he still has a mother-in-law and father-in-law, but we're not together. So Yeah. Yeah, that so, was happening at that time. Uh, Alexander kind of reminded <clears throat> me that you don't have to have terrible things that are happening in your life and you kind of think that's the end all that's your life that's how things are going to go for you he reminded me that that was just something that was going on at the same time as my life that didn't have to be my life and he made me laugh and remember that um i mean life didn't have to be this horrible thing that i thought i was going through so well, i guess i well uh, and then <laughs> you came over i like teasing her yeah alexander would uh he came over should i tell the part about the guitar Sure, you tell whatever you want to share. <laughs> okay, you guys be prepared. <laughs> I'm sitting back so, on this one. Alexander was sitting on the couch, uh, but I'm missing the comments. If... Oh, I'll, I can look at the comments. Um, yeah, dad joke since since I was 17. Yeah. Dad joke since I was probably 15. Probably really. once he popped out. Yeah. <laughs> dad joke. It was a dad joke. <laughs> it's possible. My dad trained me from a young age. Uh, we were sitting on the couch, and Alexander was showing me how to play guitar. And uh, I don't know where my dad was. Uh, but I was living with my dad at the time, and he said, I can't believe they just let me in here and just left me alone with you. What if I was an axe murderer? What? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It's a normal life. thing to say. And she's like, yeah, yeah but you're not. <laughs> but, I wasn't. But you know what? I never really gave it a thought until he put it out there, and I thought, what? What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was protective over her even then. I'm like, what kind of parents do you have leave you alone with a stranger? <laughs> but I think that it was kind of, you know how people say it's meant to be uh, it was it was a weird circumstance where I ended up I kept on running into Alexander in the weirdest spots and I had to go to Walmart for something and he was picking up pictures and I noticed the top of his head of all things so I I called him and he turned around and he said it's so weird that I saw you here I'm actually moving this week and he gave me his phone number and then we wait that's not exactly how it went it you was, said just because you and Helena aren't friends doesn't mean that you and I can't stay in touch. And then you're like, we sh you should get my number, and I should get yours. We could, and I was like, okay. He remembers it different than me. 
So That's because I remember it correctly, but that's okay. That's not how to stay together. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've been together long enough. I think we can tease each other. <laughs> I hope. But <laughs> then he moved to Regina, right? No. Um, yeah, Regina. Calgary. I was in Calgary at that time. Oh, yeah. And then Regina. Yeah. Yeah, he moved all over the place. I so, did. yeah. I was working in the movie industry, folks. I was busy. I was on the go. All the time. All the time I was on the And he didn't expect me to stick around. I think that because he did move around so much, it was hard to uh, have a relationship with Alexander because he just assumed people wouldn't, he couldn't keep those relationships because he would move on to something else and then people wouldn't hang around. But I knew he was worth sticking it out for. So we did the long distance thing nonstop for Wrote a while. letters back and forth. Yeah, letters. Like they were consistent. That means we must have been writing a lot. And uh, Where are all those letters? I still have some of mine. I'm that girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's fine. It's good but, to keep things. Yeah. And then um, eventually he said, I'm going to be moving to Winnipeg. And we decided to... Move I moved to Regina and then to Winnipeg. Yeah. But when I moved to Winnipeg, she came with. Yeah. I thought, yeah. that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was a long time ago now. And I think I asked her to be my girlfriend on Valentine's Day because that was... Hokey and cheesy and seem like the right thing to do. Here's what I don't recommend for anybody, <coughs> especially if somebody younger is watching. Do not ever start dating someone on a holiday. Because if, for some reason, it doesn't go well, then every one of those holidays is going to be so depressing. <laughs> or what, what about people who, what about guys who propose to their girlfriend on Christmas and they're like, here's your Christmas present, it's an engagement ring. You're like, wait a minute, that's, you're supposed to get an engagement ring plus Christmas presents. But I some think. people do that and it's fine. They both are. Fine. I guess so. Yeah. And then they get to celebrate both. But I've heard people complain about that. <laughs> uh, fine either way, as long as I got to marry you. Aww. <laughs> And we oh. didn't even know it was Cinco de Mayo when we were... No, didn't even yeah. know. You know, for a long time, we got married on May the 5th because I was off of work. I was in between movies at the time. Like three days off. I had three days off. We drove to her. And so what we did when we got married, we decided that we didn't want to spend a crazy amount of money on a big wedding. Yeah. We didn't want to blow all the money that we had on um, a big ceremony. So we ended up uh, basically having um, a wedding service with the Justice of the Peace in her uncle's living room uh, and had like, I don't know, 12 people there probably? 13, but yeah. 13? Do we have 13? We picked an unlucky number. Well, I guess it's not including us. Is it including us? I thought it was 12. Might have been 12. We'll, I know, we'll count 12. it out later. <laughs> I'll, let's say it's not 13 for yeah, no reason. Well. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we had a very small, very quaint wedding. Um, very few people were there. It didn't cost us really much at all, other no, than the trip. No, because, and Uncle Ron, um... <coughs> he paid for the, the room. And the, the food. And the food, yeah. Yeah. He, he treated us to one of the fancy hotels that we have here. Um, the chef from that hotel was one of his customers, and they were friends, and he catered uh, our wedding. It was really us. good food. Yeah, it was really good. I, um, yeah. But I, on, so here's what happened. On my wedding day, a couple things happened. Three things happened. One... Uh, I got phone to go back to work while I was pretty much just about to say my vows. Yeah. That happened. And I'm like, I'm actually standing here like with the judge. We're standing side by side saying the vows. And I don't know why my phone rang and I, I must have answered, which is just as bad. Well, hopefully you must, <coughs> you probably, it wouldn't have been while we were standing there. Oh, it was pretty darn close to it. I was yeah. like, hey. I'm I wouldn't gonna... have been fine with that. <laughs> I remember it was, I remember exactly. It was Dave who, uh, not your dad, but a different Dave I was working with. He Perfect. called me at the time. But I got pulled over by the police in town. So at the time, I was driving a 1966 Mercedes 250 SL. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with the car, it's kind of a cool looking car. They call it a Pagoda Mercedes. It's a two-door sports car, aluminum uh, bodywork on it. Really neat thing. Anyway, so we're getting married in a small town. And I think uh, I was in my suit and her brother Ben was with me. And he was in a suit and we're driving through town. And I got pulled over for probably 15 minutes while he checked my plates and stuff. Um, and the ticket was for not stopping long enough at a stop sign. There's only like one stop sign in the whole town, and there was nobody on the you road that day. In the, you weren't in the town because he's out of town, remember? Yeah. You it were was, in the back road. Yeah, it, it sucked either way. Yeah. So I got pulled over for not stopping long enough. I didn't think enough. he was coming. I didn't know where he was. And I'm certain, <laughs> and I have, I have a lot of respect for police officers, so if you're an officer, I get it. But I felt like the guy was giving me a hard time. Um, but I got my ticket, I took my lumps, I got there. They thought I was late. When I showed up, Melissa's mom is like threatening my life. Like, she's like, 
we thought you ran off. If you hurt my daughter, I was like, oh, I'm going to get killed. Um, but she's very protective and very loving of her daughter. And uh, we have a good relationship. She came and helped me on, on the house when it was in a yeah. very dire situation. Her mom came Yeah, and the minus out. 40, she was in that. Yeah. Um, we'll get to answering questions in a couple minutes here. We're going to tell a few stories and we'll answer some questions. Um, Super Chat isn't on? No, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, well, I don't see it either. Oh, that's we must have had a, a glitch in the system. Maybe it's because I'm on this other iPad. I don't know. Um, but either way, we'll tell our little story here. The um, the other thing that um, was kind of cool about um, us getting married. Well, I didn't tell you how I proposed. Oh yeah, you should tell them. Um, I'm generally remember? a pretty. I yes, I remember. Now I'll tell it because I'll tell it from the perspective of not being disappointed. <laughs> and then I'll tell it. And not from being disappointed, but freaked right out. <laughs> yeah, freaked right out. Um, so I um, picked Melissa up from work. She worked at a shopping mall at a jewelry store. Yeah. And I picked her up from work one night, as I often did. And she gets in the car and we start driving. And uh, I said, you know, we've been together a long time now. And she's like got this like deer in the headlights look. But he's got, he's not saying it like, he's, he's looking ahead because he's driving. And he's saying it like super serious and almost like. It's a serious moment. I don't what mean was like, about to go I down don't mean like excited. Moment. I mean like yeah. something's going to go down and you might not like it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't mean it to come across that way, but I was probably freaked out too. Yeah. So anyway, I said, um, I was thinking that, you know, maybe you and I should get married. And she's like, oh. And uh, I heard, did you say yes at that time? Or yeah. were, you, were you like, I need some time to think about it? No, I said, wait a minute. Are you asking me to marry you? Because I didn't, it, it wasn't like just simple, like, I think we're going to get married. We should get married. It was more like. I didn't have this planned out. It was, a, it was an in the moment situation and I was nervous. I completely <coughs> thought he was breaking up with me. That's how it actually went. So he was going on about how we'd been together for so long. and But he made it sound like. Okay, and I can't do this anymore. That's what I thought he was going to end it with. So when he said, <laughs> uh, I'd like to spend the rest of my life with you, I thought, whoa, whoa what? <laughs> I was already getting yeah. prepared, like, oh, this is going to be a crap night. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was it was brutal. But um, I also didn't have a ring, so, so that was and a problem. I, so I worked in a jewelry store. So, you know, there's like, I mean, a normal course of events that normally goes down when you ask somebody to marry you. <laughs> So Alexander normally, if he had a surprise for me, like a coffee or like any snacks or something, he'd say something like, hey, can you help me with the laundry? And it would be in with the laundry. Or So he says, can you help me with the groceries? And I thought, oh, it must be in the groceries. He must have done like one of those things, like hid it in something. He didn't hide it in anything, but he made brec- or he made supper. And I'm like checking in the potatoes. I thought, well, some people. <laughs> I thought I hid it in the like, potatoes. Nothing. I failed. Then, uh, I failed. Well, you didn't fail. Well, we got but, married. Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, she said yes, but then she's like, you have to ask my dad. Yeah, that was a big thing for my dad. And I said, you know what, I know it's old fashioned, but it's something that means a lot to my dad. So it means a lot to me. And he's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> but you did it. And then he said, um, I'm thank you. I appreciate that you asked me because Dave's very old fashioned yeah. um, <laughs> in most ways. And uh, he said, uh, I'm glad you asked me. And then he said, she's your problem now. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Yeah, uh, right. yeah pretty well. So that's it, yeah. So we've been married now for a really long time. She's put up with a lot with me. All my well, crazy adventures. I think we grew a lot because we've been together since we were kids. So really, we had to grow as people together. So it's... They said on anniversary, you should pr- do a proposal and renew my vows. Yes. I mean, he well, that mean we planning. Could... He'd need like... <laughs> you know what? I, I So on my channel, I'm going to vlog tomorrow. So because we're going to be going out, not the whole time, <coughs> because what kind of anniversary would be that... I mean, as much as I want everybody to come with us. Yeah. <laughs> but we are going to go to a fun little restaurant tomorrow night that we've never been to. So I want to make sure to vlog some. Hopefully there's enough to make a, a mm. video from it. Oh, I'm sure there would be. <laughs> but it sounds you, pretty interesting. Are you coughing too? Are you sick? Well, I feel like... My, all my coughing might have gotten her sick. Yeah. Uh, I went to the doctors, by the way, for all those yeah. people asking. I did go to the doctors. And um, yeah. They said that basically there's nothing really too much wrong with me. Just what I expect. This is a, every time I go to the doctor is like, and you hear why? And you guys were all worried. And then they said the same thing. My chest was fine. There's no real concerns there. So um, I do have a sinus infection though. So I guess it is good I went because they gave me a bunch of meds for that. So but what else did they give you? I don't know. A handshake. And they're they like, give them a, a nice whole day. bunch of lab work saying go for a chest x-ray and blood work. Yeah, but that's just to be on the safe side. 
All eventually. You go. know, if I go in with a sliver, they're not going to give me a chest x-ray form being like... Well, let's hope not. I'm saying they didn't give it to you for no reason. Question that doctor if that happened. <laughs> well, he thinks it's for no reason, but he's taking the band-aid solution and not figuring out what it actually is. <laughs> yeah, so the doctor said I'm pretty much okay. I just got to take some uh, medicine to clear up a sinus infection. Which somebody was saying like, oh, this guy is having trouble breathing. That's because my, my nose is like consistently having problems. Yeah. So, yeah. Melissa's saying uh, they like your dragonfly necklace. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, it is a very nice necklace. Um, Bob says he hasn't seen a doctor in 25 years. That's a long time, Bob. Uh, either good. you're really healthy. Or, you know, um, I've had friends who had people in their family that didn't go to the doctor for years, and they go to the doctor, and then they get bad news and die like the next week. But that means they were probably living with the problem for like 20 years, and yeah, it's not, it just caught up with them. Yeah. Sometimes you talk yourself into, you know, people that have that survival instinct. But don't listen to Bob. <laughs> don't listen to Bob. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're, here it is. We are um, 16 years married and 23 years together. So, yeah, Melissa was clearly a fetus when we got together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you said defeatist. Like Not a defeatist. <laughs> no, a fetus. Uh, will you open a kid barber shop in the new store? Uh, no. You know, that's funny. I I remember we took... This is how the, the hair cutting thing started because on the last video I just posted, I was cutting Jason's hair. And the, the reason why I started cutting hair is we took Steven in for a haircut when he was a kid. And I was like, that wasn't a very good haircut. I could have done better than that. And so I started cutting their hair and kind of learned how to do it. I took him in, and the, not only did they not finish the haircut, he was traumatized. And then it was like $25 yeah. for a half kid cut. I'm like, that's crazy. Well, I tried to cut it, and I made it way worse. Yeah, I mean, they, they said, well, he kept moving around. I'm like, yeah, he's a kid. He's going to move around. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, somebody was asking if we still have um, uh, free medicine here in Canada. Yeah, we we do. The, you still have to pay for, or not free not medicine. Free medicine. Um, the doctor's visits and like if I break an arm or I go to the hospital, that kind of stuff is free. But if you have to go like get medicine from a pharmacy. X-rays free, CT scans. Yeah, x-rays are free, blood work is free, but you have to pay for your like pills and stuff. Well, if, so. you, if you are in the hospital and you're already admitted and they prescribe you something there, then it's, for, it's covered through healthcare. But if you go to the doctor, and you get a prescription, then it's up to you to pay for it. I think that somebody just blamed me for an outbreak of coughing in all of the United Kingdom. I'm pretty sure somebody said, I think I'll just got the... I've even been there. Uh, Could have sent something that way. Somebody's asking what movies did I work on. A lot. I don't know. I worked on over 100 pictures. Very few of them were listed on IMDb. Uh, most of them were like um, made-for-TV movies. There every It seemed like every single movie I worked on was the same. It was... Like, there was a church, there was a cemetery, there was a broken down house, and it was like, sometimes I'd be like, man, I just feel like I just did this movie. Uh, a lot of the Lifetime Network movies I worked on, mm -hmm. but uh, did that for nine, ten years, something like that. And then, uh, yeah, we we grew a little and came came over here to Edmonton where we are. But, yeah, so it's been kind of a, an adventurous, um, like I said, Melissa doesn't have really a normal husband. Well, thank goodness. Can you yeah. imagine me? I'm not normal. I wouldn't. I don't think I could handle having somebody norm yeah, normal. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, I work. I did work on some horror films. So I worked on the Wishmaster series. You guys know Wes Craven movie Wishmaster. It's so weird because I'd be sitting there. Uh, are we frozen right now? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're That's frozen stuck. on ours too. Yeah, we're frozen on ours too. What's normal? Yeah. Um, I wonder if this is gonna be stuck. I'm just gonna read. Are they? Yeah. So, guys, if you can hear us, we're probably gonna try and 